Now what do we have here?
Just skulks there in the darkness. Step forth and die!
put that weapon away. What poor soul has the misfortune of interrupting my feeding? One who shares your thirst and your curse. Ah, a voice from the past. So the rumors are true. Cain walks Nosgoth again. How do you know me, creature? How I would love to dispatch you here and now. And yet, I am required elsewhere. Good night. Wait! How do you like my handiwork, Kane? It's been a good night's feeding. You're a sloppy butcher, vampire. You jeopardize your presence by such bloodletting. But it isn't my presence that's in danger, Kane. It's yours. You serve the Seraphan, then? I serve no one but myself. Ah, I'd forgotten how much I loathe your arrogant tone. It will be a pleasure to silence it for good. We shall meet again soon enough.
Vorador, the reformed Sado hedonist of Termagant Forest. I had met him once before in his new role of patriarch. I still knew not to trust him. Ah, yes. Who but the father of vampires would lead the resistance? I am honored, Vorador. I need no false courtesies from you, Cain. We are allies only by necessity. But you are welcome to Sanctuary. It has not the splendor of your former castle, but I suppose it will have to do. It serves, but time is short. The Seraphan's power grows by the day. Soon our every haven will be destroyed. We are facing extinction once again. They thought once before they had destroyed us. Yet you proved them wrong. You created a new race, something I could never do. 
And from that race, I had my army. Now we are divided and dying. Then rouse yourself. Make more of our kind. It takes time and energy to create a vampire. I have not the strength. No. As Umar told you, we must kill the Seraphan Lord. When he is dead, their power will crumble. You have come far already, Cain, and proven to be our greatest ally. We must plan our attack. Vorador! What is it? The West has befallen. Forgive me, sire. Uma has been taken. Taken? How? Uma was searching the main building in the industrial quarter. As you asked, I stood guard outside. She whispered to me that she had found something important. What was it? I do not know. Before she could tell me, she was discovered by Seraph and Knights. I went to help her, but there were guards everywhere. I could not reach her. I heard them say she would be brought to the Seraph and Keep for public execution. No! Then, the guards were upon me. And I was forced to flee. Forgive me for it. We need her information. We need to save her life, Cain. Yes, of course. So, I am to rescue her, sire. Our kind cannot approach the keep. We would be instantly discovered. You have the power to disguise your presence, but the chief entrance to the keep is far too heavily guarded. You must speak with the Bishop of Meridian. A bishop allies with us. The promise of immortality can be very persuasive for a bishop whose faith in an afterlife is wanting. The bishop knows a secret entrance to the Seraphan Keep. You will find him in the upper city. Tell him I sent you, and he will give you access to the keep. And if Uma is dead when I reach her? Then her discovery dies with her, and with it, our hope. Go now, Cain, and find the bishop. Uma's life depends on you. As do we all. as quick as you can. There's vampires on the streets. My sister's husband saw a man drained white he was just last week. And if the vampires don't get you, the Seraphim guards will have some questions for a stranger in this part of the city. And their questions aren't too healthy. Now go along with you, quick! So, the rumors speak true. Marcus, my old friend. A poor choice of words, Cain. We were not friends. Or will you sour this reunion with old grudges? Granted, we parted on poor terms. You tried to murder me? I seem to have failed. You feared my growing powers. You knew they would one day surpass yours. Is that why you begged me to fight at your side when you wage war upon Nosgoth? Begged? I never begged. 
In your arrogance, you presumed me dead. But I was stronger than you knew. I crawled from my haven and fled into hiding. <laughs> That's the Marcus I remember. When the Seraphan proved victorious, I knew that my destiny lay with the Seraphan Lord. I offered myself to the winning side. I always knew you for a sneaking, cowardly opportunist. How unfortunate that my poor aim caused you so much suffering. This time, you will die completely, I promise you. No, Cain. Once more you underestimate me. The dark gifts manifest differently in each of us. Over the years during your absence, my powers have increased enormously. I now have the power to charm all living things, to subjugate their minds and make them do my bidding. You will kneel to me, Cain, and the Seraphan Lord will be pleased with my new slave. Now, obey me. What? Impossible. What manner of creatures have you been practicing on? Dull mortal fools, with their minds full of commerce and dung? My mind is far too strong for your powers. No matter. My mental powers still allowed me to read your thoughts. You seek the Bishop of Meridian, do you not? He has some information that you require. A clever trick. I will ensure that you never get that information. You may find the good Bishop, Cain, but when you do, he will be dead. Not if I reach him first.
this fella taps me on. I'll teach you a lesson. manner on the instant. We were told to be on the lookout for a vampire. Not me, you fool. You know me. Cain. Cain is the one you seek. Well, he's not gonna stop and tell us his name. You're to kill him on sight. Those are our orders. City. Only he can give you passage into the Seraphim Keep. The curfew has set in, so be careful on the streets. The guards are looking for anyone suspicious and will attack you on sight. Thank you. 
Bishop's Manor is near. However, the Seraphan patrols have locked down all the streets. You may be able to trick them into opening the gates. Find the clock tower and ring its bell. The workers will think it time for their shift to change and will open the gates. The girls wouldn't clean his lordship's room with that light burning in there. They were that frightened of him. The lights stay on of their own accord? He calls it glyph energy. He's lit the whole upstairs with it now. It's a wonderful light, so gentle and bright. I like it myself, but the girl's near left in a body. I've seen glyph lights, but not in a gentleman's house. But he won them over in a minute, the day he got the glyph energy to heat his bath water for him. That's right. We carry the cans up cold now, and he's got the water hot in a twinkling. The girls are all right with it now. So I should hope. Here's everything on your list for a week, just as you asked. You call this a peach? Peach stone, more like. It's green. I told my lady the girls wouldn't clean his lordship's room with that light burning in there. They were that frightened of it. I told my lady the girls wouldn't clean his lordship's room with that light burning in there. They were that frightened of him. The lights stay on of their own accord? He calls it glyph energy. He's lit the whole upstairs with it now. It's a wonderful light. So gentle.